Merciful God, gracious God, the one who is faithful through the ages, the one who cannot change. Lord, we bow before your throne in worship. We've come with hearts of thanksgiving to exalt your name for your goodness and your mercy and your faithfulness in the life of your son, of his wife. We look back and see your goodness and your mercy and we say thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' precious name we have worship. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Hallelujah. Next we take our first Bible reading this celebration service. Uh, I'd like you to join me as I welcome to read a psalm of praise. From Psalm 145, verses 1 to 9, the youngest diamond jubilee 
celebrant on the planet. Please welcome Pastor Tunde Olukoya. There's a Bible here. He can come. Please make him welcome. The youngest 60-year-old man. Psalm 146, 1 to 9. Praise the Lord. Psalm 146. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee. And I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of, the might of thy terrible acts and I will declare thy, thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his words in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So appreciate Pastor Tunde. <clears throat> Through all the changing scenes of life, in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue employ. I'm sure this is the song of our celebrant for today shall we all please rise as we take our first hymn which is on page three of our programs
completed our second Bible reading this morning. We'll be taken from Psalm 34, the first eight verses, Psalm 34, verses 1 to 8. Please welcome to take this lesson, Pastor Tunde's Choco Milo, his sugar baby, Pastor Tokwe Olukoya. Please make her welcome as she comes. Praise the Lord. The second Bible reading is taken from Psalm 34, verse 1 to 8. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. Hmm. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encompassed round about them that fear him and deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate Pastor Tokwe. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. I'll Welcome the choir um, as they sing one of Pastor Tunde's special songs. It's a song of worship, Jesus, you are so good. I'm sure it's a song that we can all just worship and sing along because it's a song that indeed exemplifies Pastor Tunde's testimony. No! 
testimony today. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated as you watch this video presentation. Happy birthday, my dear brother. On this day, as you celebrate your 68th birthday, I pray your glory is restored. Your blessing is restored Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I decree greater things come your way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is the beginning of greater and mighty things for you. The Lord that has seen you through your 60, will see you through 70, 80, Amen. 90, and 100. Happy birthday and have a wonderful evening. Happy birthday, Manatune. We wish you all the very best. We celebrate this six years with you. We will do many more in good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lines will continue falling for you in pleasant places. And Amen. God will grant you all your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We love you and we are so glad for you. Yes. Happy birthday and God bless. God bless. Here is wishing Brother Tunde, uh, like we popularly call him, a uh, very happy birthday. Um, I was very glad to receive the message. Um, Brother Tunde and I, let me say, Brother Tunde's family and my family have come a very long way. Um, our parents and his parents have been very close. Um, and I, I'm grateful to God that we have been able to carry on and maintain that relationship, even as children, and we grow. Um, but Atunde and I also had the privilege of working together in one of the second generation banks way back then in the early 2000s until we um, went um, you know, different routes. Um, I'm glad to say that um, but Atunde is dear to our hearts. Uh, I would also like to sincerely appreciate him for standing with and by us even during our own challenging period in a very recent um, um, development. Uh, my prayer for Brother Tunde as he turns 60, as you celebrate this Diamond Jubilee, is that the Almighty will continue to bless and keep you. He will continue to make his face shine on you and that he will grant you and your family your very heart's desires, even according to his will. Hello Tunde, happy Diamond Jubilee birthday. Well, I will sing if I could, but I don't have such a great voice. By way of introduction, my name is Yadi Koya. I am one of the second generation family friends to the Olukoyas. As, as you can guess, our parents were very great friends. And therefore, I've known two days since childhood and the entire Olukoya families. Today, I say I can no longer call you a friend. You are a true family member to me. In my heart, I feel strongly that you are a brother to me in every sense of it. Especially in these last two few months, with everything that transpired in my family, you have been a unwavering beacon of support for this family, and I thank you. Uh, the truth is that you show what a selfless, supportive person you are. And because of this, I give glory to God for what he has done in your life. I know you do all this not without you facing your own challenges, but you put that aside to look beyond and support others. Thank you, brother. I pray for the Lord to continue to renew and replenish you and your family daily and to abundantly continue to lend his ears to the burning desires of your heart. I wish you a wonderful new coming decade. Happy birthday, brother. Hello, Mr. Babatunde Olukoya. This is um, a short recording. Sorry, I'm recording it so late. Um, to wish you many, many happy returns of uh, today, of your birthday. Uh, it's a major milestone and um, we thank God for good health and for keeping you alive. You know, it's been a, a very um, difficult two years for everyone. Uh, but we thank God for your life. We, um, 
we've come a long way, both of us and our families. We've known each other since the days of Surulere and the days when you used to dance on the, the afternoon uh, TV show. Um, I wish you many, many happy returns and uh, in good health. And I pray that the good Lord continue to bless and guide you as you clock the next uh, milestone, 70, 80, 90, and so on and so forth. So here's to wish you many, many happy returns. Cheers. Thanks. It's a great delight to um, send this goodwill message to our dear uncle, Tunde Ulukoya. If you say what do I know about him, I would say he's the senior brother to my husband and um, I simply call him our Uluri B and a retired banker, my senior professional colleague. How best can I describe him? Personally speaking, from afar, Uncle Tunde project is somewhat carefree um, attitude but on a closer encounter you discover that he's a calm peaceful and resolute believer in Christ Jesus I personally believe this is the basis for that his calm attitude and um, the constant state of being at peace with himself and with other people around him. How do I feel about him turning 60? I am super happy that Nkutunde is 60 years old. I mean, in a world and um, continent, particularly our country, Nigeria, where life expectancy is nothing to write home about. Um, turning 60 is a major milestone and it's a big deal. And it could only have been God and God alone. To him alone be the glory for all the experiences that, you know, Nkutunde has been through. And I strongly believe these have indeed shaped who he is today. Sincerely, I pray for good health, wisdom, continuous love for the things of God, and a very happy home filled with all his heart desires in accordance with God's will for his life. The sixth floor will all go well for you in Jesus' mighty name, even as you live your life to the fullest. Welcome to your diamond jubilee, sir. Love from your one and only Amina Ulukoya. God bless you, sir. Hello, everyone. Happy birthday, brother, today. Happy 60th birthday long life and prosperity my name is adenike yetunde olukaya and brother tunde is a um, junior sister my brother is a man of few words that i can tell you for free yeah he's a gentleman he's a very gentle person easy going and easy to relate to it while growing up i i can recall then that um my brother loves football he loves to watch so much you dare not take the channel away when he's watching football or any sports programs. You dare not take it away. You just have to leave it there till you finish watching it. Yeah, and um, yeah, I remember when he gave his life to Christ. He yeah, uh, he was just a light, full of light, full of vibrant with things of God. He was just a light in the house. We knew there was the man of God being born that day. Yeah, he was full of so much like for you to follow and i can recall back then that um my brother was the one that actually took me to and myself my junior brother my sister yeah he actually took us to redeem camp that was the first time i started going to redeem camp and it was always a monthly thing we always go for yeah i always prepare the whole place for us the food everything you know to make us comfortable so it was just a matter of time for me to follow that steps too so yeah i'm so grateful to have him as my brother uh, yeah i i even recall then that um he just goes on his own he does what he needs to do and that's it yeah i remember even while far away from him 
you know, when I'm maybe down or anything, I need someone to talk to or someone to pray for me. He's always there. He's always ready to pray. Somebody you, we can all rely on. Yeah, somebody you can rely on for for him to stand for you, stand by you, pray for you. Right, and I could recall that there was a particular day that they called and um, himself and his pastor friend, yeah, they prayed for me together. Yeah, that's how I, I, I remember very vividly. And I'm grateful for that, for being my brother. Yeah, on this day of your birthday, I wish you all the best, the wisdom, the understanding. To yeah, been now he's actually added one feather to his another birthday. He's not the head of the family, so the, the the wisdom you need to carry us to to do all you need to do, the Lord give grant unto you. May He grant you all your desires, and may the light of God shine upon you. May He continue to order your steps. May He put His face to shine upon you. I wish you all the best, and don't forget my cake. I'm waiting. Yeah, I wish you all the best for today. Congratulations, Brother Tunde, on your 60th birthday. More grace, more grace, more power, more anointing. Many more years in divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will continue to lead you. In Jesus' name, will direct your path and provide for you, protect you, lift you up in all that you desire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, happy birthday once again. Happy 68th birthday. I must say it again. Happy 68th birthday. Thank you for life. Thank you for giving your life to say this day in divine health. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for his friends, family, and to his beautiful wife. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Happy birthday once again. Have a fabulous day. Bye for now. Bye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a congratulatory message to my dear brother and bosom friend, Pastor Tunde Olukoya. Pastor Tunde Olukoya and I have known each other since our early 70s in the secondary school at Federal Government College, Odumbolu. And after graduating from there, faith brought us together again, far away in Sokoto, where we went for our A-levels at the Federal School of Arts and Science, Sokoto. And by the grace of God, we have been close friends ever since then. Even in the days of Bar Street, where that is their family house, uh, well known to all the siblings, even the parents of blessed memory, they know me by name. So we have, quite, we have come a long way. And of course, as expected of teenagers, we have done some crazy things together. But to the glory of God today, the Lord has found us and we are now in Christ and we have been serving God together, even in the redeemed knowledge of God ever since. So indeed, it's a thing of joy to see you turning 60 today. And by the way, as you all know, I also will be turning 60 a couple of days from now. So indeed, we are, we are actually twin brothers. And so today is a day of celebration. And I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. A very happy diamond anniversary. And wish you many more glorious years ahead. That because you are serving the Lord, the Almighty God will give you special gifts as birthday presents. The ones money can buy and the ones money cannot buy. On a day like this, I believe God will ask you for a birthday gift. So whatever may be in your heart, whatever may be your heart's desires that you want to tell to the Lord today, I believe God will feel that he, God will give you answers to such desires in Jesus' name. Celebration, celebration, jubilation, na 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 na, jubilation, na 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 na. For two minutes each, uh, first of all, please welcome Uncle Kole Amu to say a few words about uh, Celebrant. Please make him welcome as he comes.
Praise the name of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I am so happy to be here today on account of the birthday of my dear Aburo. The, for me, young Olori Ebi of the Olukoya family. Um, I praise the name of the Lord for Tunde. Tunde, like had been said, is such a wonderful person. Ever so calm. Uh, sometimes too calm to a fault. Because sometimes we want him to move and do some things. And of course, uh, guided always by the Spirit of God, is ever so calm, cool and collected. We praise the name of the Lord for you. He's been a pillar to the Ulukoya family since the demise of our daddy. Um, I pray um, very fervently that our good Lord will continue to be with you and your beautiful wife. Um, our prayers for you shall come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. All your heart's desire, yourself and your beautiful wife, shall come to uh, fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, happy 60th birthday, my dear brother. Um, our good Lord will continue to keep you and bless you and cause his face to shine upon you now and forevermore. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Please appreciate Uncle Kole Amu as we welcome to give a very short tribute, uh, Mr. Deji Ali. Please make Mr. Deji Ali welcome as he comes. Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, two minutes when you're not prepared to speak uh, doesn't give you time to ramble and in the hope that you say something striking. But um, Tunde and I have you know, known each other for, I would say, about 55 years. Um, it was my 60th just about four, four days ago. And... Um, <clears throat> And of course, I, I had the pleasure and honor of uh, uh, today's uh, company as well, uh, the small celebration we had. Uh, and so, when today told me only a few days ago that it was going to be 60th, I knew I had to attend. But in order to be here today, I had to do something extraordinary. I think today and I have been friends for that length of time. Um, we went to the same maths lesson together. He was good in maths, he was a good footballer. Um, he lived on 28 Umba, I lived on 75 at Denrogosanya. And our parents worked at uh, Nigerian Ports Authority together. So that's the extent of, uh, of the relationship we've had over the years. But somehow we haven't really been as close as we should for a host of reasons. I wasn't around, and uh, we're doing our own different things. But any time we had reasons to reconnect, um, we, 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 we tried to do so. And so when today told me last week that today was going to happen, I knew I had to be here. But in order to do that, I had to do something extraordinary. So I sit on the board of a company that was recently reconstituted to accommodate the fact that the operations of a company were in about eight countries. So the, po the point I'm trying to make is that we have new international directors on that board and people who I don't have a deep relationship with. But I've never missed a board meeting in my career. And so I had to reach out to the new directors to explain that I, had a child I have a childhood friend was 68 is today, and I would like to be there. Um, now, it's quite something to explain that to a Nigerian director. It's quite a different thing when you're, when you're trying to explain to people who are not Nigerian, who really don't understand where you're coming from. 
But I think what it tells me is that the foundation of my friendship, of our friendship, uh, was laid firmly many decades ago. And in spite of our not seeing each other as often as we, we should, um, the true test of it is what you're prepared to do when an occasion like this uh, comes up. So while being delighted to be here, um, I just want to wish you a happy 60th. But we uh, continue to foster our friendship. And I also thank your, your wife uh, for, for the care over you. And so I wish you a happy birthday and many happy returns of the day. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate Mr. Deji Ali. Happy Golden Jubilee to you too, sir. Thank you so much. Pastor Tunde Olukoya is a committed worker. He's, a, he's one whose heart is in the work of the kingdom of God. And here at the City of David, he is very active across uh, various ministries. He's involved in outreach ministry, which is committed to doing most of the things that people from outside would see. He's involved in the Kappa DM program. He's involved in evangelism. And he's an active member of the Wisdom Group. So please join me as I welcome Pastor Trevor Akindele to say a few words about his work here in the kingdom. Please welcome Pastor Trevor Akindele. Praise the Lord. Pastor T, I can't call you without calling Torpedo. That's Topa, your lovely wife. Uh, because the two of you are one, in truth. Um, the first thing I want to say, Pastor Tunde, on behalf of all the members of Outreach, we're all colleagues in Outreach Department. We love you dearly. And um, we want to celebrate you. We'll still do our own celebration after this one by the grace of God, but uh, we just want to say a few words. Pastor Tune, you're a very, you're a great man. You know, I've, I've tried to define greatness in many ways, and I think I've come to the realization that greatness is just being yourself and having integrity, committed to whatever is given to you to do, humility, and also Dependability. Pastor Tunde is very dependable. Um, yes, thank you very much. And um, I remember when the vision for the Kappa DM ministry started, which is our early morning fellowship we have at 6.30 in the morning to 7.30 every... Then when we started it, it started three days in a week. Mondays, it's three days or two days a week. Mondays and and I think Wednesdays. And very demanding ministry because you have to be awake around 4 a.m., 5 o'clock, get all the ministers together. By the way, all the ministers you see on stage are all Kappa Diem ministers as well, <laughs> though they're also members of the choir. And um, Pastor Tunde, when it started, was so committed. I mean, he, he will be on the streets, reaching out to bankers, reaching out to workers to join the ministry in the mornings and um, the ministry grew until COVID came and the ministry had to fold up for a season. Then after a while, he came back and said, but we can be doing this online. Why must it go to sleep? So we reactivated it and then now it's back online and also on site. And um, I can't count the amount of times that ministers or people that were meant to show up would not show up if you call Pastor Tunde, it will be here. And Pastor Tunde will say, I will take the service if they don't show up. I think it deserves a big round of applause. Amen. <laughs> At the meetings, our outreach meetings, Pastor Tunde is always a blessing. First, sense of humor, excellent. I don't know how many people know that Pastor Tunde has a wonderful sense of humor. Well, you may not know, but he does. And... Um, Whenever he's not there, everybody says, where is Pastor today? Where is Pastor today? Where is Pastor today? Pastor, you're a great man. We love you so much, and um, we appreciate you. I believe that the reason why they call Diamond Jubilee Diamond or 60 Diamond is because Diamond takes time to emerge. But when it emerges, it becomes very precious, 
and its value increases forever. I believe that from now, from this 60, you will see God do mighty things in your life, in your marriage, in your ministry, in the work of your hands. Every desire you have, God will bring them to pass. And we are there for you. We are your family, and we are there together. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate Pastor Trevor Akindele. And once again, let's give a warm round of applause for all who have spoken kind words, words of encouragement, words giving glory to God for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. I've found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He'll never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. Our next hymn, I found a friend in Jesus, is in our programs. Shall we all please rise? as she sings, I am the one.
this past 21,900 days of life. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you thanks for your loving kindness that's better than life. 
Father God, to you be all the honor and glory forever and ever. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, for forgiving us all our iniquities. Thank you for healing all our diseases. Thank you for delivering us from every form of destruction. Thank you for crowning us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank you for the gift of your son, Pastor Tunde Olukoya. Father, to you be all the honor and glory forever and ever. Receive all of our thanks and praise, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, Pastor Tunde and Pastor Mrs. Amen. I have a word from the Lord for you. And it's very simply four words. And it's both a charge and a command on this day that you are celebrating your diamond anniversary. And it's simply that for you, Pastor, and for you, Pastor Mrs., it's time to shine. It's time to shine. Diamonds shine. Isaiah 60, verse 1. And my text is taken from Isaiah 60. And it's interesting that it's your 60th anniversary. And the Lord is speaking to you from that scripture in verse 1. He says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Over the past 59 years, you have had a particular disposition. But the Almighty God is telling you now that it's time for you to shine. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It goes ahead in verse 2. He says, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. He says, Gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. He says, you should lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar, and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. He says, then you shall see and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. He goes further, and he declares in verse, I just will go, he says in verse 6, he says, the multitude of camels shall cover your land. Dromedaries of Midian and Epha shall come. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall proclaim the praises of the Lord. He says in verse 10, he says, the sun, he says in verse 9, he says, surely the coastlands shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish will come to bring your sons from afar, their silver and their gold with them, to the name of the Lord your God and to the Holy One of Israel. Because he has glorified you. He says, the sons of foreigners shall build up your walls and their kings shall minister to you. He says, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in procession. He says in verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come to you. The cypress, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary and I will make the place of my feet glorious. He says that, I, verse 15, I will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. Verse 17, he says, instead of bronze, instead of bronze, I will bring not silver, but the God who from now will do exceedingly abundantly above all your best expectations says he will give you gold. Amen? He will do exceedingly from now on. Abon mark my words. God is said to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. In Jesus' mighty name. And you know, I did a study. How much more valuable is gold than bronze? And if we were to take a guess, 
you find I found out that to my shock and amazement, you know, many times in Olympics, when you see them gold, silver, bronze, particularly in 100 meters, you see somebody that ran 9.8 seconds, giving bronze, 9.7 silver, 9.6 gold. What's the difference? Fraction of a millisecond. But in terms of value, gold is 10,500 times more valuable than bronze. So God is saying, the best you have been expecting from him till now is bronze. God is set to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all your best expectations in Jesus' name. He says that in verse 19, the sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you. He says, but the Lord will be to you an everlasting light, and your God your glory. Verse 20, your sun shall no longer go down, nor shall your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall be ended. It says also, your people shall all be righteous. You shall, they shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. He says a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. And my, brother, my pastor and my pastor misses, this is your appointed time in Jesus' mighty name. Your appointed time has come in Jesus' mighty name. So I just want to encourage you. Amen. That's what the Lord told me to tell you, that it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. And to just say a few more words about Pastor Tunde, show you the kind of person that he is. You know, pastors, when people are celebrating landmark birthdays, you get calls, and you expect that the people are calling so that you will pray for them. Well, Pastor Tunde called me this morning at 7.30. What did he call for? He called me about Cape Diem on Wednesday. That shows the heart of the man. God will honor you, Pastor, and God Almighty will reward you. All that you have been doing in secret, God Almighty will reward you openly in Jesus' mighty name. For all of us who are here today, we're not here by accident. God ordained from before the foundations of the earth that we'll be here today. And for all of us who are here today, because God is not a respecter of persons, no matter how great life has been up, up, up till now, for every one of us, it's also a time, it can also be our time to shine. It can also be our time to shine. And so, the key ingredient to shining, if we look at that scripture again in Isaiah 60 verse 1, it tells us why, how we can arise and shine and the, quali the qualities, what qualifies us to arise, shine. He says, number one, because your light has come. Christ Jesus, when he came, he said, I am the light of the world. He says, who he who believes in me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And not only that, he goes further and he says, not only has your light come, Christ has come, but he says, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. How is the glory? is the glory of the Lord risen upon you is because Christ in you is the hope of glory. It's only if Christ is in you that you can have hope of glory. Brethren, don't be deceived. The greatest failure is the person that will live here today not knowing where he is going. Amen? The greatest failure, the greatest shame and the greatest disgrace will be for anybody to leave the earth without being sure of eternity. And you can be sure today, Christ in you is the hope of glory. And so I want us all, all heads bowed, all eyes closed, just for one moment. As I've said, we're not here by accident. We didn't come here by accident. From before the foundations of the earth, God knew that he would send a particular gift into the world. And 
God knew that we would be connected with him one way or the other and that he would bring us to this very moment. And the Lord God is saying to each and every one of us who are here today that it's an opportunity for every one of us to begin to shine and be assured of eternal glory. Eternal glory. And that eternal glory is available to us if Christ is in us. So I want everyone who is here today, I want Christ in them to please put their hands upon their heart right now. All heads bowed, all eyes closed, please. Put your hand upon your heart and say these words after me. You want Christ in you. You want Christ in you. Say to him, Heavenly Father, I come to you now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Write my name in the book of life. I receive you as my Savior and as the Lord of my life. Help me from today to live for you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And on that last day in your kingdom in heaven, let me not be found missing nor wanting. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Finally, I want us all to take one, one prayer for Pastor Tunde Olukoya. And it's just to thank God for this gift. Let's thank the Lord God for this gift, for all his goodness and mercies. And pray that the goodness and mercies of God shall ever increasingly follow our pastor all the days of his life from this moment forward. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you thanks. Blessed be your name, O God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's keep clapping for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's time to shine. Amen. Let's celebrate this celebrant. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And of course, we know we can't celebrate the celebrant without celebrating topsy realistic. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate uh, his lovely sweetheart. You know, people wonder why we celebrate in this church. Indeed, some people were annoyed with us that in this church you always just dance and celebrate and, you know, uh, kiss and do all kinds of things. Uh, it's because they don't understand. You know, every day is special. No one can promise you tomorrow. All you have is today. So be the best. Do your best. And leave the rest. We pray for many years, many more years, that we'll live to 100, 102, and all that. But hey, the journey of a thousand years starts with one step, one day. So we celebrate each day that we wake up, because it's only the living that can celebrate, that can praise the name of the Lord. And you know, in life, there are many regrets. Indeed, when I attend or conduct funerals, Funerals is where you see a lot of regrets. Because many people wish, ah, how I had made that call. I had said this and that. All the things they talk about, people that die, oh, I love you, you are a good man. They don't hear anything. So the best time to celebrate people is when they are alive. And that is why in this church, we celebrate and this month, God has told us that it's a month of extravagant praise, extravagant celebration, excessive, amen, because we serve an extravagant God. That is why today is very, very special. Today is a day of celebration. You know, a song is not a song until you sing it. So, until we see expressions of love, we can know that there is love. They tell me that these two, they love themselves. But there must be expressions. You must see it. If I say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Christmas, no girl, no card, no gift. Uh, Easter, no card, no gift. 
bad day, no can. The next thing you say, I just say, shut up. Show me. Amen? Amen? Show me now. So, we are going to see some serious expressions. Amen? And we want to focus on today. What you are going to see in the next few minutes is a legacy expression of love. The kind of experience that you remember for years to come. Amen? And, um, you know, Pastor Tunde and Topsy, they are different. If you know them. Pastor Tunde, you know, sometimes I just can't understand him. He's so cool, calm, and collected. You know, when we are all in the office, we, we operate an open office. Anybody can come. You know, if you are bold enough, you can come in. Just walk in. And all the pastors will be there, will be chatting and all that. And he will stand in front of the door. I will see him in front of the door. I know he wants to see Pastor Trevor. He will stand like this. He can be there for one hour. And he will see other people going in. And I tell Pastor, what's wrong with this man? This man should just come in. He's so humble. And um, I think we just need to celebrate this man of God. I mean, he's just an awesome God. Um, now, even though I've erased some of the things I've had today, that you are a warlord in Egypt. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> All things have been washed away. And behold, everything we see now is new. It's time to shine. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. All this is just supporting, you know, for the next act that you are going to see for those that don't understand us or don't know how we do things in this church. When you celebrate birthday, you need to serenade yourselves, express love, you know, and do all kinds of things. So I don't know what they have in store, but one thing I know is that our encounter in this church with Tokwe, you know, when we wanted to give out the, um, the cafe, we didn't want to give out, but she's a woman of prayer. So she got together everyone in the prayer department. And they were praying, putting our names down. Hey, Mother Trevor, hey, every day. Her presentation, we didn't want to give her. And she knows we didn't want to give her. But one way or the other, we just had to give her. Because she had tied us. I mean, can you imagine tying pastors <laughs> in prayer? I can't just understand. And we can never forget, Amen. Hallelujah. Even though these days she doesn't send a uh, chop chop to us anymore, he has forgotten. <laughs> eh, she's just chopping it alone. Amen. So today we are going to call the two of them. They're awesome people. Um, Pastor Tor, Tokwe, because it's your sugars that they are the one that to start kicking off, serenade him. You know, I know he's quiet, but this is not the time for quiet. I know you won't be quiet. You have some crazy things that you're going to do here today. Amen. You're going to sing a love song. And somebody said, uh, when he was younger, he was dancing on TV. So we need to see that dancing today. Amen. Hallelujah. So the floor is over to you right now. Before we pray for you, you need to serenade. Tell us the new name that would uh, carry you from 60 to 100. Amen. I know you've had all kinds of names that you call yourselves before. Choco, Milo, uh, all kinds of names. Amen. Sugar, Banana. There must be a new name that would be used so that when you begin to arise and shine, as you have heard, that name will follow you. Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. So you know what to do. Let's give them the microphones. As I have my seats, the floor belongs to Tope and uh, Olushola Oluko. Stay away from the uh, fan because it will be entering the something. And Ogasa. <laughs> remove your mask. Uh, remove it fully. I know she will remove it for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you and we love you all. The new name for Olatsunde Olushola Olukoya is my shining armor. <laughs> Shino. <laughs> can I sing? You can't do everything though. The floor is yours. The board meeting has been moved, have you? It has we been have been many been. reasons to say thank you 
We have many reasons to say thank you, Jesus. We have many, many reasons to say. my treasure but in this new dispensation I call you you are talking to him I call and you and I hope you know that praise and worship today is not Kappa Diem <laughs> we were expecting and we're still expecting a love song uh, so that will come okay yeah, we're allowed you to after. do your praise and worship it's okay so talk to him forget you know, I we're call here. you my treasure but with the shining and rising in your diamond jubilee you are now my shining ammo I know And I bless the Lord the, na the day I met you. God, look at her now. Look at her. Look at her. She's talking to you. Yeah. I give God all the glory. And I say thank you for choosing me out of many millions of women in the redemption camp. <laughs> and the meeting camp. I Uga. The <laughs> meeting camp. <laughs> Uga. So, I celebrate you. I celebrate the faithfulness of God and the goodness of God in your life. And as just as Pastor Ayoloko has given you a new name, I said from today, you are no longer Baba Tunde from your birth. You are Ola Tunde Oluwa Shola Olukoya. And so it is and so it shall be. We seal it on this altar of Jehovah and it shall remain so. You continue to be a source of wealth to the body of Christ, to your family to the nations of the world and to the city of David region 20 and the redeemed Christian church of God and the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you and I appreciate you. No, 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 no. You know, we know look, I don't care what you tell him, but you know, we are audience. We need to be encouraged, okay? Now, number one, remember you are online. Yes, sir. Okay, number two. I want to know how is it possible for one to go for overnight vigil and be a, a girl. I mean, how did she, is, did she, were you still together? Did she say, nice Bible? What was the line he used? Or did okay. he just say, I, marry me? <sighs> okay. Yes. Apparently, he, he has been looking at me in the redemption camp. Uh -huh. but, before, but before then, aside from that, um, I, I never really, I couldn't recall seeing him in my friend's um, older brother's family house. Mm. He's also a friend to my secondary school mates. Mm. 
So maybe that's where it comes for the disco. I don't maybe, know. But, maybe, uh, but, but the, the day in but camp. But in tell camp, us. okay. Uh -huh. After the solemn assembly of... Um, 2011, March 2011. Mm, solemn. Oh. Solemn assembly. Hey, that Jew says we shouldn't be talking to anybody. Yes. Mm. It was after the solemn assembly. Mm. But it wasn't doing after the solemn assembly, the holy communion service in the ah, evening. Yet Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so? So I think himself and his friend, mm. Inka Adifu, I'm not sure whether he's around. Go on. So they must have been piloting me, kind hey. of. Because they sat two seats away, two rows away from mine. Uh -huh. And then after the Holy Communion, he came to me and said, um, I'd like to have your number. Hey! Russian tank attack! Baba, no rope or dope. Let's clap for pastor. <laughs> okay. Now, Tokwe, we gave you the cafe for one year. You have stayed there for maybe eight years By the now. way, today is also the cafe's um, anniversary. Cafe uh -huh. was open on the 8th of um, November 2009. So how many years now? That's 12 years. Today 12 today. years. Okay. Completion and a new beginning. Okay, hallelujah. You had one year contract. You tied the people you wanted to tie for... Pastor, pastor is not... Wait now, wait, 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 wait. It's not about the cafe today. <laughs> if you do not sing a love song, we will arise <laughs> and our eyes will open. <laughs> I will bring up the books. I and you love will hear from you. You love me. Jesus is in, in our boats. Very, very soon we will have our triplets. Two boys and a girl. Amen. Tonight Four points. That's where you are spending the night. We book a room for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So all the people that are following you, they will just leave. Here. So Michael, organize four points for them. Amen. Hallelujah. So pass over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First, uh, I want to thank the Lord for today. Many hoped to see. 60 years and um, it never happened. So, Mudukwe, Moria Anugba, Mudukwe, Moria Anugba, Thurikwe, Kinshe Bubwe Niyo, Lomira Anugba. Thank you so much, Lord. Like she said, for. Like who said? Like, like you said. What's you? Who is she? There are many she's here. Like. What's the my love? Your love. Yes. Okay. My the first name I gave to her was my Tell her. The first name I gave to you. The first name I gave to you was my spark. Hey! Baba. Spark must shine. <laughs> she was very, very, very. You were. You were, you were very, very active, and you are still very, very active and bubbling. Hey! Under the blood. <laughs> I watched you for quite a while, and all that time it was on the campground. All the while. 
Eventually, I summoned courage and uh, with my friend backing me, I approached. And um, the rest, as I say, is uh, <laughs> history. I will bless the name of the Lord so far. We fight, we make up, just like any other couple. But somehow we blend. We do blend. I know that. There's a large part of me that you compliment. And there's a part of you that I also compliment. All glory be to God. Like, you, like I said, you are my spark. And I pray that you will continue to sparkle in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 80 to 90% of uh, the celebration, you are the one behind it. You gave the push when it was time to take the fossil shots, the, the photo shots. It was you that arranged it. Maybe I was too cool, <laughs> but we ended up doing it. Glory be to God. The food, even up to the dress that I'm, even up to the dress, you are the ones behind it. Pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. God bless you. Amen. You're coming into my family will not be in vain. Amen. This is our appointed time. Amen. You shall be fruitful. Amen. By every token, in every way that the good Lord measures fruitfulness, you will be fruitful. Spiritually, Amen. in your body, Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. And God will not regret saving your soul Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will fulfill divine purpose. Amen. Of course, you have come into my life to be a helpmate. Helpmate you will be in the mighty name of Jesus. My song for you. Before the song. Sir. See, I think we need to take you away from Kapadien because you must think you are inside Kapadien. You have not <laughs> even said, I love you. I say it now. Say, I love you before the song. I love you. And I mean every word in that, I love you. I love you once again. I love you. <laughs> yes, your song. Love song. Love song. Yes, look at her. Ah. There's this song we used to sing in those days. Tell her, sing to her. Don't There's talk this to song her. we used to sing in those days. It's a Yoruba song. It says, Ekuro. Look at her and sing it. Uh -uh. I can't remember the exact words again. You can put your word. Forever and ever. Put her name there. Forever Spark and you. ever, my bye, love, my bye, love, my bye, love. Ekuro, la la baku ewa. Forever and ever, my bye, love. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we, can you surrender the microphone, please? Thank you. And now, ah, uh, okay, collect now. Amen. You want to remove your jacket? And you can remove anything now. It's a extravagant kiss. In the name of the Father, 
But remember, you need all your strength for later tonight. If you use it now, that's, uh, you know. In the name of the Father, that's on your marks. In the name of the Son, and mm. in the name of the Holy Spirit, come on. Hallelujah. Otito, Otito. Can we stretch for the hands towards them, please? Please, Oga, Oga, come, 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 come here. Before that, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. them and begin to bless them with the blessings of the Lord. Let us begin to pray that the God of remembrance will remember the labor of love and in return he will reward them. Let us pray that God will reward them financially, physically, spiritually, materially. He will reward them with things that money cannot buy. He will reward them with the fruit of the womb. As prophesied even by Tokwe, they'll begin to give God all the glory for their lives. They'll begin to thank God because their lives are profitable to God. Let's pray that God will celebrate them and rejoice over them for good in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray that before they call upon the name of God, God will answer them. That everything they lay their hands to do shall prosper. Let us begin to give God all the glory for this day. And begin to round up our prayers right now. Praising God for these ones. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And so Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. We thank you for preserving their lives even till today. King of glory, you have been their stone of help. They are Ebenezer. Thus far, you have helped them. Father, you are taking them somewhere. King of glory, O Lord, we pray that they will fulfill destiny together. King of glory, that great plan and purpose that you have for them, Father, fulfill it in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that you rejoice over them for good in Jesus' mighty name. Before they call upon you, please answer them in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O Lord, you have said that the fruit of the womb is your reward. Father, we're believing you, O Lord, that by the time we gather next year, King of glory, O Lord, will come here even to celebrate a larger family. Father, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, for this day. We pray that you hallow today in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, because you are a God that goes ahead. Father, O Lord, go ahead of these ones, O Lord. Every mountain, please remove. Every valley, please fill. Father, O Lord, every rough edge, Father, smoothen, O Lord. King of glory, every crooked way, make straight in Jesus' mighty name. Please be their rear guard, O Lord. Father, O Lord, underneath them, let your everlasting arms uphold them, O Lord. Father, let there be a banner of success and victory over them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, surround them with a song of deliverance. Father, our Lord, we pray that you prosper them in all their ways in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, their sun will not go down. Their moon will not withdraw, O Lord. The glory of God upon their lives will not be turned to shame, O Lord. Father, O Lord, fortify them, O Lord, with awesome testimonies, O Lord. Surround them with favor as with a shield, O Lord. King of glory, O Lord, we pray that these ones will not be abandoned, O Lord. They will not depart from the paths of righteousness. They will see their children's children to the third and fourth generations, O Lord. Father, we pray that you give them even new songs to sing. Songs of joy, songs of victory, O Lord. Songs of deliverance, O Lord. You fill their mouth with laughter, O Lord. Father, we thank you for all those that are here and online to celebrate them. Father, Lord, we pray that shouts of hallelujah and rejoicing will not depart from us also in Jesus' mighty name. King of glory, O Lord, into your hands we commit these ones, O Lord. Knowing that whatever is committed into your hands, you are more than able to keep, O Lord. Father, Lord, we pray that you keep them, O Lord. You watch over them, O Lord. Take sickness away from them, O Lord. Make them whole again in Jesus' mighty name. The strength, O Lord, and the anointing, O Lord, that they require for the journey ahead, grant to them in Jesus' mighty name. Let the joy of the Lord be their strength. All the days of their lives, they will see many more glorious years, O Lord, in prosperity, in service to God and humanity. So let it be, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen.
Congratulations. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. It's been an awesome time in God's presence. We'll soon be out of here. I'd like to appreciate everyone who has come to celebrate with Pastor Tunde and Pastor Tokwe and the family. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I know it's a Monday and to be here on a Monday morning means that they are important to you. So I want to appreciate Pastor Idowili Omade. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor Shiju. I uh, thank all the pastors and ministers who have come. I were well, 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 well represented this Monday. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'd like to appreciate the choir. I'd like to appreciate technical and multimedia. The elders, Wisdom Group is represented well here. Everyone who has come, we just want to say thank you, thank you. God bless you. Our prayers that we'll always have cause to celebrate with each other in Jesus' name. And I thank all those who are watching with us online. Zoom and YouTube, I believe. Yes, uh, I know. If more people, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you enable your videos, I'm sure multimedia would show as many as are here uh, watching from all over the world. Thank you, thank you. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Um, please welcome Pastor Trevor Akindele as he gives the benediction. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Please, let's rise up to pray. And thank God again for today. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Father and our God, we're so grateful. Our Lord and Master Jesus Christ, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we're grateful. Thank you for a wonderful celebration. Thank you for your son, Pastor Tunde Olukoya, and his lovely wife, Pastor Tokwe Olukoya. Thank you for everyone that has come here to rejoice and celebrate with Pastor Tunde. Thank you for long-standing friends that have come here to rejoice with him ministry, associates, business friends, family, physical, and online. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful for the joy that is here today. We pray that that joy in the life of Tokwe and Tunde will be permanent. That joy will never, ever, ever disappear in Jesus' name. They shall always rejoice. They shall be full of joy all the days of their lives. And everyone that has come here to celebrate with them, Joy shall never depart from our lives and from our homes in Jesus' name. We shall always have cause to celebrate the goodness of God in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, King of Glory. Lord, take everybody back to their destination safely. Let it be well with all of us. Take us into the new year with joy. Let it be well with our nation. Let it be well with all that concerns us. Glory and honor we give unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Our closing hymn is in our programs. We'll sing it as we close.
Amen. Please be seated for a moment. The ushers will guide us uh, as we depart in an orderly manner, but I'd like to ask Pastor Tunde and Pastor Tokwe to step forward, and all pastors and ministers here present, please come so we can take a photograph with the celebrating couple, and then we can plan to leave. Yeah. 